This video will show you how your occupiers report maintenance issues on FixFlow. Occupiers will need to access your FixFlow URL to report issues. We have many ways to help you promote your FixFlow URL to your occupiers to increase the usage of FixFlow. Please check out our free course on how to best promote FixFlow to your occupiers on FixFlow Academy to find out more about this. FixFlow is a white labelled product, so your site will have your logo and colour scheme. This means it won't look like it's come from a third party. It is a cloud based product, so occupiers can report maintenance issues using any device. For example, a mobile phone, an iPad or a laptop. It is also available in over 40 languages. The language tool sits on the top left hand corner of the site. If an occupier clicks on English UK, they can see all of the languages available to them. If they select another language, the entire system will pull into that language for them and they can report the maintenance issue in that chosen language. Everything will be translated back into English for you. As you can imagine, this can really help to break down any language barriers that you may be facing. The welcome message at the top of the page is customizable as desired. When reporting a maintenance issue, the occupier has two options. One. They can report the issue using this search bar at the top of the page. They can type in the issue to find it and as you can see the icons will then filter down to help them find the issue quicker. 2. They can use the icons underneath to select and drill down to let you know exactly what the issue is. These icons can be added and removed as you wish. When reporting a maintenance issue there are guidance and advice pop-ups which appear. These can help occupiers with two things. Firstly, they can help to filter out issues which should not be coming through to you. For example, issues such as mildew in the bathroom, batteries and smoke alarms and light bulbs and light fittings. These are all examples which are occupier responsibilities and should not be reported to you. So if the occupier wanted to report an issue such as mildew, they may use the search bar like this to find the issue. Here you can see an example of a guidance and advice pop-up explaining to the occupier that this falls as part of their responsibilities to resolve. Therefore, the issue is then filtered out, leaving you the time to deal with issues which require your attention. On average, our pop-ups help to filter out 20% of all issues, really saving you time. Secondly, our guidance and advice pop-ups can help with first-time fixes. A good example here would be a boiler issue. So if I click on heating and boiler, electric boiler or heater, electric boiler, I come to four options. Boiler leaking, boiler noisy, boiler not working and other. For this example, I'm going to select boiler not working. This guidance and advice pop-up provides the occupier with some checks that they can carry out at home to see if they can resolve the issue rather than reporting it through to you. All of our guidance and advice pop-ups are completely customizable. You can add information, photos, videos and GIFs. If the occupier still needs to report the issue, then they will click on continue. The beauty of FixFlow is that you will receive one report with all of the information on it, meaning that you can resolve the issue for the occupier as quickly and efficiently as possible. Therefore, there will be certain information required by the occupier in order for them to report the maintenance issue. In this example, it is an appliance and the appliance type is required. This is automatically generated based on the category the occupier chose. They will also need to add the make, model and fault detail. These are all required fields. As the occupier begins to type in the make, options appear to help them with spelling. The serial number and the number of flights of stairs to the appliance are optional fields. Once all of the mandatory fields have been filled in, the occupier can click on next to go to step two of this three step process. Step two allows them to add up to 10 photos, videos or audio files. This provides you with a more complete report. Step three is where the occupier must fill in all of their contact details and some additional information before submitting the issue. Please note that when they add their address, there are different options for sourcing addresses, which you can select from within the agent side on FixFlow under Setup and Settings. Next, the occupier must fill in their contact details. The required fields are their first name, surname, 
email address and telephone number. Finally, they can add in additional information. They must let you know whether or not they would like to be present when the works are carried out. They can add any further notes if they wish, and you can add additional fields such as pet information, alarm information, and parking restrictions. These can be turned on in your setup and settings. The occupier can let you know if there is a vulnerable occupier at the property. By clicking here, they are given a definition of this. If this box is checked, then this will be added onto the report. They can tick to have their details remembered for next time. This is not recommended on a shared PC, but it can make it quicker for them reporting issues going forward. They must agree to the fixed flow terms and conditions. These state that fixed flow are not responsible for resolving the maintenance issue and that we are simply a platform where they are reporting the issue on. Once they are happy with everything, they can click Submit Issue. Here they will be able to double check the report before they confirm this. Once submitted, they will be taken to this page where they can see the IS number. This is created by FixFlow and is unique to this particular issue. They can click here to report another issue and fill out a quick FixFlow survey by clicking here. When a new issue is reported, two emails are automatically sent out. One will go to you and the other is sent out to the occupier. You will receive an email to let you know that a new issue has been reported. This will have all of the details of the job so that you can progress it as quickly and efficiently as possible for the occupier. This will come complete with a time and date stamped PDF document. The occupier will also receive an email regarding the issue. This will keep you compliant with Section 21 as it provides them with an adequate response. An adequate response is you responding in writing in 14 days to let the occupier know what you are going to do along with the estimated timescales. This is all covered off for you in this email. Their email also contains the time and date stamped PDF document. Thank you for watching.